Did you know that getting a good night's sleep can significantly improve your health span and lifespan? Sleep is the most important thing a human does on a daily basis. Now I know that sleep doesn't solve all things, but it helps me feel well enough and full of energy that I want to do everything else that's good for me. Sleep is one of the most underrated aspects of health and longevity. It affects everything from our physical well-being to our mental clarity. The reality is that if you want to live long and healthy, you need to include good sleep habits in your lifestyle. There's a plethora of research showing that if we don't sleep enough, we increase our chances of many different diseases. Out of Harvard, um, I think it was Beth uh, Clearman's group, um, they found that, and they replicated it in two different large populations, if you look at the contribution of different sleep stages to your lifespan, REM sleep was the strongest predictor of your longevity. And it was a linear relationship. It wasn't sort of one of these U-shape or J-shaped curves that we often see with total sleep and mortality risk. It really was linear, that the less and less REM sleep that you were getting, the higher and higher your probability of death. According to a recently published study involving more than 170,000 adults, men who get adequate sleep live about five years longer than men who don't. For women, it's two years. In this study, they follow participants only for 4.3 years. Imagine if they have followed it for longer based on how the sleep quality of people in general has been getting worse and worse, that this number will just become bigger and bigger. In another study of the European Howard Journal using the UK Biobank with a cohort of 500,000 participants aged 37 to 73 years all show a strong correlation between bad sleep and heart problems. They created sleep scores ranging from 0 to 5, with higher scores indicating healthier sleep patterns. In general, the higher the sleep quality, the lower the risk of coronary heart disease, cardiovascular disease, or stroke. This was actually adjusted for other coexistent diseases. In general, sleep is essential for various physiological processes. It helps repair tissues, consolidate memories, and clear toxins from the brain. Disrupted sleep patterns can lead to chronic conditions like heart disease, diabetes, and obesity, which can shorten your lifespan. Also, when we sleep correctly, we are less anxious, we have less stress, and we take better decisions. That means we have lower chances of committing a fatal mistake or of just doing stupid things in general. So if you don't want to die also from an accident, try by sleeping well every day. And it's not only about longevity, it's also about your day-to-day -day life. If you prioritize your sleep, you will improve your quality of life for every day. And this I can tell myself. Every time I put the effort just to sleep enough, at least eight to nine hours every day, and to not have any interruptions, my day is just better, my brain functions better, I can perform better at the gym or doing sports or running, I can just relate better, I'm happier, my mood is better, everything is better, how you relate with people. So this should not be negotiated. Sleep should be your priority. All right, number one is identify as a professional sleeper. And I agree with Brian Johnson. We need to become professional sleepers. We need to prioritize sleep as if your life depends on it. Maybe the only way, the only reason that you will not do it is if you have little kids. But if it's not the case, then you need to put sleep as your main priority and you need to become a professional sleeper. The same way you go to your job every day, the same way you show up at your bed on time to sleep and do it properly. If I understand correctly, this is a very, very specialized brain state, unique to sleep, unique to a specific portion of sleep. So these are some tips you can apply today to improve your sleep quality if you decide to take the mindset and the way of living of becoming a professional sleeper. The first one is to stick to a regular sleep schedule. Put an alarm to when do you want to sleep. If you want to go to sleep at 10 p.m., 
put them alarm at 9 p.m. So then you can start deloading and stopping everything you are doing so you prepare yourself to go to sleep. Think about like a commuting time. The commuting time is the time before you finish everything and you go to sleep. It's this time you need to focus on just transitioning to going to sleep. Create a comfortable and quiet sleep environment. Clean and organize your room and your bed. Make it comfortable and make it good for yourself. In general, make it dark and make it cold. Limit exposures to screens and bright lights before bed. This is very easy. First thing in the morning, get sunlight two hours before bed or three hours before bed. Try to turn off all devices, all blue lights, anything, so you can start deloading and preparing yourself to sleep. Avoid heavy meals close to bedtime, at least three hours before sleep. Also with liquids, don't, don't drink anything two hours before sleep. Incorporate relaxing activities like reading or meditation before your bedtime. We're used to just using devices with the slides and everything and we're a little bit stressed. Try to just do something different. Maybe read a book, maybe just meditate, maybe just take it easy, maybe just talk to your partner and use this time just to relax and take all your devices away. Reduce or avoid caffeine. The reality is that if you sleep well, you will see that you don't need that much caffeine or anything at all. And how much you need to sleep? Aim for seven to nine hours, a little bit more if you can, daily. And it's better if you go to sleep at the same time every day. I know it's hard on the weekends, but then you know, okay, I'm becoming a professional sleeper. I don't want to go to party till 2, 3 a.m. I'm going to start shifting my social life earlier, earlier, earlier in the day. So then you can be consistent to when you go to sleep every day. Remember, sleep is not a luxury. It's an necessity. Prioritizing your sleep can lead to a healthier, longer life. It's one of the simplest yet most effective ways to enhance your well-being. And this is it. This is why Brian Johnson, Matthew Walker, and many other scientists and I agree that the best way to increase our lifespan and health span is by implementing good sleep habits so we can sleep well every day every night of our life. So let me know in the comments if you want to adapt and take this mindset of becoming a professional sleeper. Thank you very much and have a good night's sleep tonight.